So good day everyone. So we are the group 5 and the members are Lorenz, Kobe, Eskasolatan, Harvey, Ganancias, Justin. So our topic that we are going to report is the application of error to a compass. So the course outcome is solve problems by applying of errors to a compass. Next, learning outcome. At the end of the session, the students shall be able to determine how to apply errors to a compass. So the importance of the topic. So the compass error should be checked each watch and on every new course to measure the error of the gyro compass, which is the angle the gyro north makes with the true north to establish trends in deviation on different courses at varying latitudes. This is important because should the gyro compass fail, this information will be needed to set courses using magnetic compass. So first, so the first topic is application of error to a compass. <clears throat> so the courses and bearings laid on the charts are true, but we steer courses and take bearings using a compass. So the compass used in small vessels is more commonly a magnetic compass, although some may be fitted with a gyro compass. It is suggested that this section be read in conjunction with learning outcome 7 on magnetic compass and azimuth circle. Firstly, we, we will deal with the magnetic compass and the errors involved. The, different, the difference between directions as measured by the compass and the true direction as measured on the charts is termed compass error. Stated differently, so it is the angular difference between the true north and the compass north. It is named east or west to indicate the side of true north on which the compass north lies. So next, the compass error is a combination of two separate and distinct components, namely variation and the deviation. So what is variation? So variation <clears throat> is the angle between the magnetic meridian or the magnetic north and the true meridian or the true north at any place. So, <clears throat> variation is um, divided into two types, which is the, or variations could be easterly variation or a westerly variation. So it is called easterly variation is produced if the magnetic needle is deflected in the varying degree to the right of the true meridian and it is called westerly variation when the magnetic needle is deflected to the left left of the true meridian <clears throat> so variation when when influence on the earth's magnetic field a compass needle will point towards the earth's magnetic pole this pole is located somewhere to the north of Canada and is slowly moving. Examination of a globe will show that from a position on the east coast of Australia, the compass will point in the direction to the east of true north. This is magnetic north, and the angle between it and the true north is called variation. In our, in our case, variation is east. To find the value of variation for any position, simply consult the nearest compass rows on a marine chart. The variation will be given for a specified year together with the rate of change allowing calculation of variation for any subsequent year. See appendix for a variation chart of the world. So example, chart of Australia 823 gives the following information on the compass rows to the south of St. B's Island. So magnetic variation is 8 degrees 40 minutes east in 1979. So it is increased about 2 minutes annually. So in 1997, the variation will have decreased by 2, um, two minutes each year for 18 years, a total of 36. Adding this to 8 degrees 40 minutes we find that the variation for 1997 is 9 degrees 16 minutes east. It is 9 degrees 16 minutes minutes east because because there are because the 
years um the year difference is 18 years then it is increased two minutes annually so 18 years times two equals 36 then 36 will be added to the eight degrees and 40 minutes then the first then the variation for 1997 is 9 degrees 16 minutes so now next we will consider the deviation so what is deviation <clears throat> deviation in the unlikely event that a vessel is constructed entirely from non-magnetic materials materials and has no electronic close to the gut to the compass variation is the only error which will need to be accounted for in all other cases um the ve the vessel and or its equipment will create magnetic fields of their own some of the vessels will be built into the mag into the vessels on the slip others will change as the vessels moves around within the influence of the earth's magnetic field so the compass adjuster is usually able to reduce the effect of the vessel's magnetic fields but the causes are so complex that it is in inevitable that some effects remain for the ship's compass to work at all the effect of the ship's magnetism must be less than the force of the earth's magnetic field so deviation is the deflection between the north south axis of the compass card and the magnetic meridian so it is an error induced in a compass by local magnetic fields which must be allowed for along with magnetic declination. If accurate, bearings are to be calculated. Is so deviation is caused by different factors, just like magnetic properties of the steel ship, um, magnetic materials on board ship, um, other materials around the compass, just like ship's rigging, electrical wiring, stack and steel mass, ventilators, and others. <clears throat> deviation is the angle between the magnetic north and the compass north. So um, deviation can also be named as east deviation when the compass needle is deflected to the right of the magnetic meridian. West deviation when the compass needle is deflected to the left of the magnetic meridian. To illustrate the effect of the vessel's own magnetic field, imagine a vessel which on the compass needle is attracted towards the stern. When that vessel is heading towards magnetic north, the effect of the pull towards the stern is to reduce the directive force at the compass but not to deflect it from magnetic north. As the, the vessel turns into easterly heading, the compass needle is deflected towards the stern, i towards east. When the vessel heads west, the compass needle is deflected to the east. There will be no deflection when the vessel heads south but an increase in directive force. Next, this deflection of the compass away from the magnetic north is called deviation. As with variation, it is named east or west and the value will change accordingly to the ship's heading. A deviation card is produced by the compass adjuster when the vessel is first commissioned at the intervals throughout its life. It is displayed close to the compass position. As an example of a devi deviation card can be found on page 78. The relationship between compass, magnetic, and true courses and bearings is shown in the following diagram. Next is rules for applying variation and deviation. First, to avoid drawing diagrams every time variation and deviation are applied, a number of memory aids has been developed to clarify the rules of application. Next, Television makes the company or the TV MDC reminds us that to true we must apply the variation to find the magnetic and to this we apply deviation to arrive at a compass course or bearing if we start if we start with a compass bearing and wish to convert it to true so that it can be used on the chart the order of the operation is reversed or it can make CD MVT Next, having decided the correct order in which to apply variation and deviation, we need to know whether the correction should be added or subtracted. This may be decided using the word C, A, D, E, T, or the cadet. Next, this simply indicates that to get from compass to true, the endpoints we add S. Next, 
Given that we add east, deviation or variation, it follows that we must subtract west, deviation or variation. Next, it also follows that if we add east to get from compass to true, we should add west when going from true to compass. And last, a simple layout for applying these rules is shown on the next page. Compass error. If we expect to take several bearings while steering the one steady course, it makes good sense to arrive at a single correction to apply to all those bearings. Remembering that the variation remains effectively the same while operating in one area. In that deviation, when we change, when we change course, we can find the compass error for the source being stirred and apply that to all bearings taken while on that course. Example, we are staring 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 degrees. The deviation from the deviation card for 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 degrees is 3 degrees west, and the variation from the chart is 11 degrees east. The compass error is therefore 8 degrees east. Since we are converting compass bearings to true, we add S. Therefore, while steering 0, 0, 0, 6 degrees, add 8 degrees to any compass bearing to, to convert it to true. A uh, simple layout for applying variation in division. Number one, changing from compass to true. Compass course to 215 degrees. The division 6 degrees west. In this case, between 210 and 220. The magnetic course 209 degrees. Add east so, sub, so subtract west. Variation. 11 degrees east from chart. The true course, 220 deg degrees and add east. Number two, changing from true to compass. True course, 220 degrees. Variation, negative 11 degrees east from chart. Magnet magnetic course, 209 degrees from T to C, subtract East. And division, now, positive 5 degrees West from table for 210. Compass course, 214.5 degrees and add West. For most practical purposes, this compass course is sufficiently accurate, but to be strictly correct, we should re-enter the division table with a compass course of 214 degrees rather than the magnetic course of 209 degrees. In this case, division would be 6 degrees west in the total working as follows. True course, 220 degrees, variation, 11 degrees east, magnetic course, 209 degrees, division, 5.5 degrees west, Deviation, 6 degrees west. Compass course, 215 degrees and 214.5 degrees. The difference is, rare, is rarely like to be great, but beware of deviation card which indicates rapid changes in deviation. When working with bearings, the same layout is followed, but remember that that the division table is entered with ship's head not bearing.